Campaign groups representing leaseholders have vowed to fight a new law which could leave thousands of people liable for expensive fire safety renovations made to their homes. The Fire Safety Bill, which is the latest attempt to raise standards following the Grenfell Tower fire in 2017, finally received approval in Parliament last night, despite a rebellion by 32 Conservative MPs. The House of Lords has repeatedly tried to stop developers and management companies from being able to pass the costs of the new safety measures on to leaseholders. Critics of the legislation say it will leave people who own flats with flammable cladding facing bankruptcy through no fault of their own. Our business correspondent Sarah Corker has this report. Cladding campaigners said the fire safety bill pulls the rug out from underneath a generation of homeowners. Peers from a range of parties and some Conservative backbench MPs have tried to make changes to protect flat owners from cladding costs. But after a long-running battle in Parliament between the two houses, those attempts failed and the bill became law today. Giles Grover is from the campaign group Manchester Cladiators and said he feels let down by ministers. We're all very upset, disappointed and, and, and kind of angry. Um, when it started, we realised that we might not have much success, but over the last three or four months, with all the MPs and the Lords coming out in our favour, we really thought there was a chance that we'd finally be protected. So last, night vote, last night's vote has just upset us a great deal. Nearly four years after the Grenfell Tower fire, an estimated 700,000 people are still living in buildings wrapped in flammable materials. They say they should not have to pay for something that isn't their fault. In some cases, the bills to fix defects add up to more than the value of the flat. Steph Pike is a lawyer and owns a one-bedroom flat in Bristol. It is an unbelievable situation and I think a lot of people don't believe this could be happening in, in the UK and that the government won't step in to protect us. I've got a professional qualification I need to protect and if I have to declare myself bankrupt, I'll lose that so I'll also lose my career. I'm hoping something will happen before I get the bill, but I, I, I don't know. Ministers have repeatedly said the fire safety bill was not the right place for these issues to be addressed, given the complexity surrounding the cladding problem. The Home Secretary, Priti Patel, said the bill will help to save lives. The fire safety bill is a really important piece of legislation in terms of reforming the regulations around fire safety and also the designs of buildings um, to ensure that not just people that purchase them but live in them have safe and secure properties. This legislation is really, really important. The government has set aside more than £5 billion for the removal of cladding from the highest risk blocks and there are plans for a low-interest loan scheme to help those in smaller blocks.